Shifting focus to Pakistan, where tensions are already flaring up and situation seems to be worsening even more with a new statement by the country's defense minister. He's come out to say that Pakistan is considering banning former Prime Minister Imran Khan's party, Pak Tariq Insaf, for attacking the state. A decision that is in all likelihood going to enrage his supporters and exacerbate his confrontation with the military establishment. Defense Minister Khwaja Asif has said that Khan's Pakistan Tehreek Insaf had attacked the very basis of state which could not be tolerated. The former cricket star and former Prime Minister of Pakistan is embroiled in a critical phase in decades-old rivalry between civilian politicians as well as the powerful military that has ruled directly or overseen governments throughout Pakistan's history. The face-off has brought widespread protests by Khan's supporters, raising new fears about the stability of the nuclear-armed country as it struggles with its worst economic crisis in decades. This is the latest statement coming in from none other than the, def the uh, defense minister where he is taking on Pak Tehreek Insaf. Remember, Imran Khan supporters had gone on to the streets and went on a rampage as well. You can see the protests that took place on the streets. They had attacked military establishments, radio stations, several public properties as well, protesting against the arrest of Imran Khan, after which there was a fierce battle both on the streets as well as in the court, after which Imran Khan had been released. But right now, over 100 cases have been filed against the embattled prime, former Prime Minister Imran Khan. Rishabh now joins us for more context on this. It's over to you, Rishabh. So, if you see, yes, uh, what is happening in Pakistan right now is something that is... Pakistan right now is something that is uh, very unfortunate for that matter. We have seen that how the PTI leaders have been arrested and senior leaders like Shirin Mazari has been uh, arrested five times in the last seven days for that matter. Uh, immediately after her release yesterday, she held a press conference and announced that she's leaving PTI and politics all together. Uh, Similarly, Fayaz uh, Chahan, who is uh, who was the minister in PTI government back uh, back in those days when uh, PTI had government in Punjab and was also the spokesperson of the Punjab uh, PTI's Punjab government, resigned uh, from PTI just after release. And uh, Shah Mahmood Qureshi, who was released from uh, the jail, was taken into custody just the moment he walked out of jail. And it, this is a case with almost every PTI leader right now. Joined uh, show... from Pakistan by journalist Mateen Heather, sir when Defence Minister says that they are considering a ban on PTI, what does it mean? Yes, well, uh, this, uh, uh, this particular uh, this indication that uh, Pakistan Tariq Insaf could be banned, uh, this proposal has been under consideration uh, in, uh, before the Cabinet meeting. So, the statement of Pakistani Defence Minister Khwaja Asaf is not new. Uh, because uh, the whatever is the narrative of the Pakistan uh, Democratic Movement uh, government led by Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif, they strongly believe uh, that PTI's activities and acts are uh, against the state of Pakistan, and particularly uh, they claim that uh, in the aftermath of uh, 9th May, uh, the the things and the evidences which have been collected that. Uh, 9th May, uh, violent protests and particularly attacking and burning the military installation were orchestrated by the uh, by the PTI leadership. It was planned and executed by the uh, PTI leadership, and then uh, they also the government also believed that uh, and alleges that PTI has certain foreign linkages. So he has just uh, talked uh, what what the Pakistani cabinet discussed, but could not. Uh, develop a consensus and this was basically two weeks back that the Pakistani cabinet discussed this particular thing and this proposal was also discussed uh, in the cabinet meeting soon after uh, this uh, ninth May incident but uh, due to the opposition by the some of the parties within the alliance the decision was deferred keeping in view also a possibility possible legal briefing the, le the briefing which was given to the cabinet that uh, the superior judiciary or the apex court can immediately remove that ban which might be imposed by the uh, by the government so which is uh, why he has just said that it is under consideration 
but the government doesn't have any courage to do because it would uh, cost him uh, very big, right? The consequences would be very, very horrible one. Either uh, Imran Khan is banned or PTI is banned, that is the same thing. If Pakistan Tariq and Saf is banned, that means Imran Khan's activity will automatically be banned. But we have to keep in mind that in the prevailing situation in Pakistan, the high courts and the Supreme Court of Pakistan are giving immediate relief, which mm. irritates the government, which is why the relations between the judiciary and the government are also right. not in good terms. But he has uh, said it, but there is no final decision. Right. And before taking final decision, the Prime Minister will have to take his, uh, his allies into at, at a time 